All right, so when we put our radio on and we're trying to turn the volume up, we have an issue. We can turn the knob here and it just jumps all around. So, that and some other reasons, we're gonna go ahead and replace this radio and put in a touchscreen Bluetooth radio with backup camera. We have found the cheapest Apple CarPlay radio on Amazon. It's a Chinese brand. I don't even know how to pronounce that. B-I-N-I-Z-E. I've already bought the kit. We're supposed to make it where it fits in here. And then we also bought the steering wheel kit so we can retain the steering wheel controllers. This is Crux inter, uh, replacement interface. I've already went ahead and did all the wiring up. Went and soldered it and got it taped. And we're going to run a backup camera too. But first thing we're going to do is get this radio hooked up and make sure everything works before we go and run a backup camera and everything. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to pop this out and see if I can get this radio undone. I can do it without breaking or scratching the dash here. It's important not to break these little plastic pieces. See, that's just a little bitty four inch speaker. It looks to be okay. But if you're going to replace it, you definitely can. And it looks like if you wanted to, you could actually go with something a little bigger. There's more room there. You just have to take this bracket out or widen this bracket or whatever you might want to do. So we'll set this to the side for now. We'll go and continue trying to get this dash part. To a junkyard to get the replacement pieces. All right, well, mm -hmm. we'll unhook our hazard switch. This little thing up top, you push down, pull out. So you push this down right here, and then it'll come out that slot. So then we'll take this. Looks like it stayed in pretty good shape. See anything major broken? If anything broken, we'll stick that in the back. So, what is our radio held in? It's held in by Philip screwdriver. This one, I'll hook the main harnesses. And this one I'm having the most trouble out of. I guess push it back in there and try to pull it out. Like there we go. Okay, and you'll see it sits at an angle. And a new one gonna sit flat. So we'll see how it looks when we get it all in there. Should only go to each plug. That one's clicked in. There's that one. And that one. Now, Oh, 
Oh, here's a connector for this. It looks like maybe both of these. So that one's for the antenna. What's this for? Satellite radio or something? I don't know. It doesn't have that connection down there. So. And this one's not hooked up anymore either, so I don't know. I still don't know what that's for. I may have to look it up online. There's our antenna. This one goes on there. And that one go in there. All right, go ahead and turn our key on, see what we got. Well, we have something. Guess let's make sure we got some sound coming out. I'm not hearing anything. Mm -hmm. I don't see the volume. Oh, the volume's up here. It's at 40, and we got nothing. Did you hook so we'll have to look into that. I know we got all that hooked up. I know for sure I got it all hooked up right. So. I guess while we're at it, let's try your steering wheel controls. Nothing there. Um, so, let me see. We'll try turning all these to the off position. It does come with instructions on where to put these. Alright, in order to hook this up, you have to have this box here to retain your steering wheel controls. You have to have a mic, or to put your mic in. We took this panel off here. We're going to run our mic down here and come over. Since we added a part, we went ahead and replaced this little speaker up here. And then also, we needed a place to hook up the... Apple uh, device so it has this USB that comes by the back of it and that's so you can plug in your Apple device your phone and run um, it's for it to display on the screen so what it does is uh, it just plugs right into that this USB will plug into the back of the radio We'll run that through here. I took this part off down here that had the old auxiliary and USB port. I took this little box, slid this out, auxiliary and USB. Okay. And then I pushed this cord through that hole. So we do have a wire hanging out, but it's just going to be that wire there. You pull it out when you need it. And push it back in when you don't. And that will sit right inside of that panel there and back down there. I'll show you guys when we're finished what it looks like. But that way we could have this readily available. With it all in, it does kind of sit back a little bit. But this is the one with a hazard not built in the radio. It's built in the dash. So we have, let me turn this down. The steering wheel controls do work. Okay, and uh, there's our microphone that we ran behind here. We got our iPod connector here, our, sorry, iPhone connector here. It just kind of hangs out and she can pull it out as much as she needs it. 
it comes way out or she can tuck it back in i don't love that but uh not terrible and you know we couldn't use that old port anyway so it kind of keeps it clean in there and it's got a pretty clean look to it overall all right well that's uh how we do that there next we'll take this back apart later we did change this speaker but we got to change these we got to change the door speakers got to change our rear subwoofer and when we go do a rear subwoofer i'm going to hook up the rear view camera but for now this is it